Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. For those who are new, welcome. And for those who are back, welcome back y'all. So today we are going to talk about the long awaited, I feel like you guys have been waiting for this for a while, but I had to try it out for myself for a long time. I mean, I've had this for about a month now and I feel like in the review world, a month is a pretty long time to try out a foundation, you guys. And I'm going to review it for y'all today. I'm going to show you how it's applied. I'm going to tell you about the many ways I've tried this La Prairie foundation because, guys, I've tried it in almost like every, a lot of different ways. And if I showed you every single time I tried it with different things, you guys, this would be like the longest video ever. <laughs> But I will tell you about how it looks, how it feels, but guys, just hold on to your chairs or don't fall your seats because this La Prairie foundation is the most expensive foundation I've ever bought. And I did, however, purchase it with one, a gift card, and two, it was like a 50 off 250 or some kind of promotion Saks was having. That's why I got it. So, if you are looking to purchase something like this, I would highly recommend that you wait for either one a sale, gift card, whatnot. It's pricey, pricey, pricey. So let's get into it, guys, right now. Okay, as I mentioned before, we are speaking about the La Prairie Foundation today. I purchased mine off Saks. It retails for $255. I know, I did buy this, I did buy this. The Skin and Caviar Concealer Foundation Sunscreen SPF. So just a little bit about it from Saks, it's, so it has SPF 15. It's a luxurious cream emulsion that offers full yet natural looking coverage. The exquisitely matched concealer camouflages under eye darkness and deeper flaws. A brilliant fusion of skincare and cosmetic artistry, it is the foundation of perfection. Also includes a two times magnifying mirror in the cap, a foundation sponge, and precise concealer brush. One fluid ounce, made in Switzerland. You are supposed to shake before applying, smooth and blend with foundation sponge for desired coverage, Coverage may be built by adding another light application as needed. For the concealer, you are to pat this on with a fingertip over the foundation. Use the concealer brush to blend away edges or apply prior to foundation and blend with precision concealer brush. Just a little bit about La Prairie. Now this is my first venture into La Prairie. La Prairie is a very expensive skincare brand. And they have a ton of like what I hear to be amazing skincare. I have not personally tried a lot of their skincare or anything like that. I've had maybe a sample here or there, but you know. Um, <laughs> they have caviar extract and 24 karat gold. La Prairie sets the bar for truly indulgent skincare and makeup. It Find instant lift luminos and luminosity in the Swiss's line serums, eye creams, pressed powders, and more alongside precision application tools. So that is about La Prairie. That is a little bit about this foundation itself. How many shades does it say? Nine shades, nine or ten shades, don't quote me, on Saks right now. I purchased mine in the shade Honey Beige. Now Honey Beige is NW. 30. And it comes with this little, so it's a mirror here and like a mirror stand and you can use it as a mirror or you can place and you can place your brush here and then this goes right here on top. So it's kind of a cool little, you know, item to put on, on your vanity or whatnot. Isn't that neat? I really like the idea of this. So when you get it, it comes in this beautiful box. I'm sorry, I kind of already got rid of that one. I cannot stand clutter, so me saving stuff. I'm sorry. Um, this is the concealer that is on top. And then, so you see that there's a mirror right here as well. So that's really handy. And then you have this 
that is your foundation, you guys. And it comes with this little paddle. And I had the sponge. Here it is. And this is a sponge that it comes with. I have not used it. I personally am not a huge sponge person, but you know what? Maybe I should use it. But I like to either apply this with my fingers or a brush, like a dense foundation brush. And we're going to do that today. Okay, let's get into the foundation. I like to film in natural light if I can, but then again, it will <laughs> get brighter and darker and darker. Um, anyways, I personally have two foundation brushes, or actually more than that, like three. So I have three foundation brushes that I want to, or four, no, there's another one, one moment. I have four foundation brushes that I really like. This is the classic base brush from Sony G. I really love this brush. I am really enjoying the Chikahoto T3 brush as well. And then the Sony G base brush, and it's cool. It's like a really neat fan brush. And then the Jones Road brush, this is for their, um, it's like an everything brush. I like all three of these. So all three of these I've applied and it, it works fabulous with this. Um, the Jones Road was gifted, I always like to disclose. But we're gonna use maybe the base brush from Sonia G today. So what I like to do, so it always says to like shake it. So I like to kind of, Shake it up. And honestly, guys, it does not take a lot. So I'll kind of go like, just like that on the brush itself. And I will take it and apply. I moved it in a little bit closer so that you can see a little better. Let's see if I can turn on a little bit of light right here. There we go. All right, so. Look at that coverage. Like, let's pull this over here. Now, if you've been watching me for a little bit, or if you're new, <laughs> well, if you've been watching me for a little bit, you may have seen that I have been using this a lot on a, a lot of my videos um, because I can't stop using it. <laughs> I know. It's kind of like a dead giveaway when I do this review because I love this foundation so much. It literally is my favorite foundation right now. I just cannot help but not. I have to use this. I feel like my skin looks healthier. It looks flawless, honestly. Even when I have like, I have a, a bump here, like a breakout there. I have pigmentation right here. I'll just kind of take just a tiny bit on my brush, then I'll go in like right here and just pat it in. Now, shade wise. Shade wise, I probably could have done a little bit deeper, but I knew we were going into the winter, kind of fall winter months. I do lighten up a little bit during those months, so I thought to myself, well, it's $200 a dollar, so I don't really want to buy two shades. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a little, well, let's just, yeah, we can deepen it up with some with some bronzer here in a bit. But I personally think that the shade match isn't terrible. Could it have been better? Um, yes, probably. Honestly, I probably could have gone up one shade, but I wanted to not have to buy I didn't want it to all of a sudden, you know, be too deep for me get my nose. So you can see I'm just kind of taking it and dabbing it. Now when you use foundation, it's like any foundation brush, this is just a little tip or whatnot. When you use any foundation brush, you always want to either go like this, like really kind of, not pound, to dab it in because you don't want to create streaks by like smoothing it out like this. You never really want to do that. So this is the foundation in action. <laughs> what do you think? 
I had no makeup on, just skincare on prior. And if you want to kind of take your fingers and kind of pat it in some, you can, however you want. I have used it with fingers. Beautiful application with fingers. You're going to get a little bit more of a sheer coverage. You're not going to need as much or anything like that. But it's beautiful too. So it just depends on what you're looking for from a cover standpoint. You're going to get a more sheer coverage. Of course, if you're not building it or anything like that. I applied a couple layers here, just two or so, and then continue to work it into the skin to really blend. Because honestly, guys, it just blends one with the skin. And y'all, I'm loving it. The way it wears, too, throughout the day, y'all, it is insane how beautiful it is. It does not wear terrible, terribly. Um, and it's just so pretty. Now, no decision. What does that mean? Someone's thinking about you? <laughs> All right, so let's do the concealer. So you can do it one of two ways. You can use your fingers, and it is a thicker concealer. You can definitely tell how thick it is here. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty thick. Now, if you do this and just warm it, look how pretty this is. Now some people have said, and I've heard, that some people don't like this concealer because it will, it's not bright enough for them, but for me it's just bright enough, honestly. And I like it. Just enough for me. Guys, I have worn this under the eyes and it does not budge. It looks beautiful. It doesn't like crinkle up or make my eyes look like super crinkly cakey i love this concealer it's so hydrating so it like it's the best concealer i've used i mean what is going on i'm like this is the best concealer i've ever used for my under eye i mean for me personally it's just really good it's so so good and for me worth the price yes if it makes my skin feel amazing, look amazing, if I don't have to worry about creasing or anything like that, and I feel like it wears well throughout the day, I mean, it's worth it to me. Can I also go right here and say, oh, I want to cover this bump here? Oh, well, I guess you can. <laughs> you can also use this little brush. So a little handy brush. We'll just go in and cover here, and then... Maybe a little place here. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. That guy. It's just enough coverage. Are you going to be able to still see it? Yes. Yes. Am I kind of over, like, hiding everything? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... It is what it is. It is who I am. I'm kind of, like, come to peace with that in a lot of ways. So... I'll put it on with a brush or with my finger and yeah that's it that is the foundation on my skin okay so I pulled you out just a bit so you can see the color match like I said I warmed the shade up with bronzer so it is a little bit I don't know, it's a little light I feel like it looks like light, lighter in the viewfinder than it really is but could I do a, a deeper shade Yes, I know that. So, I'm going to go in and show you the powder I got too. I'm going to do a whole separate video on this Skin Caviar Loose Powder. But guys, I've tried this foundation with powders and different things. Does it go well with the, the other powders? Yes. I'm very particular about powders though, I will say. I like the Chanel Loose Powder and I like my Kogan Dope Loose Powder. That's pretty much it. Were there others? I'm trying to think if there's others. Oh, and I love my Chantecai. My Chantecai, like the blur powder, and um, that particular one, I do, I do really love. But, you guys, this La Prairie Skin Caviar Loose Powder with this foundation is like, whoa. It's 
insane. It's a massive powder and I'll go over more about the powder in another video. This is in translucent too and you can see just how big it is. That is 40 grams of product. What on earth? Like it's huge. It's huge. And it comes with a travel size too. And yes, it's very expensive. <laughs> it's, it's really expensive. Oh, I'm like nuts. Who, I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> I just know. All right, so let's throw this powder on. You know what I've really been enjoying from a powder perspective is like using one of these little buffer brushes. I really like that. So I'll just take a little bit. I'll buff it into the, you know, I'll take a little bit from the little guy here. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll do a full review on this guy. So that's, that will be coming soon, I promise. And then I will take this, but look at, hold on. I really want you to see my skin. And this is way up close and personal, I understand. But I really want you to see how gorgeous this just, I mean, so you can see that, like, can you see the blurring effect? I feel like that's so close, but you can totally see how blurred it is, how pretty it is. Yes. Can you see the difference? You can still kind of see how pretty and smooth it is, and it still has a pretty luminosity to it, but it's, it is subdued. This here definitely can see the luminosity, but, and I'm just like literally patting this in like so. I'm going like this. And that is it. I mean, it's so easy. It's so easy. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup so you guys can see how this looks with everything else on. I have so many videos I've been wearing this in, so I, I can link some of those below so you can see how it is as well in other videos. I love this. So more on that in a minute. Be right back, finish this all up. All right, y'all, this is the final look. I. We'll zoom you in. This is what the my makeup looks like. I love it. I used the Chanel. This is the Ambigetti 834 Rouge Allure Lipstick by Chanel. I really like the shade. I used my Air Beauty Mascara. I love that. I mean, goodness. So many good things, right? Wow, so many goodies. And then I used, oh, I used this Chantecai eyeshade all over the lid. It's really beautiful. And I really like the little, the little leopard here. And then I used Lion on top of the Luminous and Eyeshades on top. So yeah, that's what I used. Oh, and I'm using the Givenchy Mister on the brows. I'm loving this, guys. And of course, Sicily. I know. Love it. All right, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do want to tell you a little bit more about the product itself. The La Prairie product has lasted for me all day, specifically with, I feel like I, it mm -hmm. lasts for me all day when I powder it. And the pow I mean, my skin looks so healthy. It just looks healthy. It doesn't look too powdered. It looks beautiful on. It looks like skin, but just flawless skin. And I mean, of course you can still see, I mean, imperfections. But for me, when I'm thinking flawless, it's like you're not seeing like a ton of pores. It doesn't look like makeup on the skin. It seriously just looks pretty. And it just, it makes me personally feel a little bit more confident. I love that feeling too, specifically when, you know, you're trying something and you really, and it's expensive. It's like you expect it to make you, lack of a better term, you expect it to do like wonders. And this one really does. Like, I absolutely adore this. I, I love it. I 
love it. Like, it's not a like. Like, I seriously don't want to use anything else in my collection. Like, I'm not very interested in any foundation launches. I'm not interested in trying another powder. This is just something I personally have found that just works with me, my skin. I love the look of it. I love the way it looks on my skin. It doesn't settle into fine lines or crease. It doesn't cake. It looks so, so healthy and natural. And if there is a need to build up, I can use the concealer. The concealer doesn't move. It doesn't like crinkle up in my, you know, under eyes here or anything like that. I love it. And I just feel like the pair of the two together, the uh, La Prairie Foundation Concealer with the loose powder for me is amazing. It just is so, so beautiful. So I have tried it with other powder. I think it looks good with other powder, but I feel like the powder of the La Prairie is just special. It's just a special powder and uh, I just really love that. So the La Prairie, so if I were to wear it without powder, it does look a little more dewy. So if you're not looking for a dewy finish, then this may not be for you. If you're looking for something that's going to look natural when you powder, this may be a great foundation for you. If you are looking for something to not powder, if you're not a powder person at all, I wasn't, honestly, before the La Prairie powder or Chanel or um, a a Chantecai, you know, like the ones we were mentioning before, then it may get a little oily on you. It may throughout the day because it, it, it just sinks in with your skin and it provides, it, you may see a little dew. Um, if you're not oily, if you're drier skin type, that type of thing, you're going to be golden with this. This will be your new best friend, <laughs> you know? So it just depends on the skin type, quite honestly. And I feel as though that the shade match for me was good. It was good. And I warmed it up with a bronzer and that was fine. It was not an issue at all. I did buy mine online. I didn't, I was not able to go in store, but I did have some, some help from some of my friends on Instagram and YouTube. So that was really helpful as well. Anywho's, what other questions can I ask, can I answer? I am happy to answer any questions down below in the comments. I, like I said, I've been wearing this for a month now, like nonstop pretty much, and it's so good. It is beyond, it, it exceeded my expectations, <laughs> like exceeded, and for me personally, I love it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys here. You guys had been asking me about the La Prairie Foundation, and I have really thoroughly enjoyed it and I wanted to share it with you and how it's been working out for me. So yes, I do recommend it. I know it's expensive. <laughs> I'm, I totally know it's expensive, but for me, it's, it really, it's good. It's beyond good. It's exceptional. It's fabulous. I love it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I, We'll invite you to subscribe below, guys. If you want to join here, be notified of videos that I post, click the bell. Click it. It's free. I appreciate you guys doing so. I'd love to have you stick around. So I will leave everything linked below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for your support and helping me out here and just supporting me. Every time you click a link, that could be an affiliate link that in turn helps to support me and my channel. And as it provides a little bit of compensation for the purchase that you do make, <laughs> no extra charge to you at all. It just helps to Helps, it helps me out as well as it shows the brands that I'm talking about that, hey, it shows them too and they are able to see that too. So I really appreciate that. Just thank you. So thank you so much. And then liking and commenting, guys, that also helps me out here too. So, and it's free to do. So thanks so much. I will leave my latest video right here and I'll see you there. Bye, y'all.